57% of public school teachers across Japan worked over 80 hours of overtime in the month of July, passing the threshold for increased risk of death by overwork, according to a survey conducted by a non-profit organization that supports educators. Here's a summary of the article. Tokyo, 57% of public school teachers across Japan worked over 80 hours of overtime in the month of July, passing the threshold for increased risk of death by overwork, according to a survey conducted by a non-profit organization that supports educators. The findings suggest that attempts to catch up on lost lessons due to the long closure of schools amid the coronavirus pandemic, as well as extra work related to school disinfection measures and other tasks, are leading to longer hours for teachers. Tokyo-based non-profit organization Kaioiku no Mori carried out the online survey between July 10 and 26, targeting teachers and staff of national, public and private elementary, junior high, and high schools, and special needs schools across Japan, and obtained responses from 1,203 individuals. The non-profit group asked respondents their average overtime hours on weekdays and days off in July, including work brought home, and used the figures to estimate total overtime hours over four weeks. When analyzing data of 935 teachers who work full-time at public schools, excluding those in managerial positions, 534 people, or 57.1%, were found to have worked over 80 hours of overtime during the month. The Education Ministry established a policy this January to cap maximum monthly overtime at 45 hours in order to push forward work-style reforms for public school teachers. It has been revealed that long work hours violating the guideline have been the norm among teachers put under strain by the pandemic. This post received a score of 8,600, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I simply fail or get sacked if I'm in such a situation. I can't really be exploited that much since I fall asleep after a while. Same, my body goes to sleep mode before it lets itself be overworked. I once fell asleep outside in October rain just because it was an overnight exercise, got woken up by the flashlight of LT before he verbally reamed me. I still cringe at my, just resting my eyes sir, solid defense. That said, a lot of the time it's just paper shuffling and busy work waiting for their superiors to go home. If you're unfamiliar with the senpai, kahai culture, it's basically just in this context, you do whatever an elder says. You also aren't allowed to leave work before them cause this means you're not working as hard, and you'd never do that as someone of lower rank. And a lot of times it's like a competition to see who can work the longest. Which would account for the insane hours I used to work in a public school, as a foreign expat, so the rules didn't apply to me. What would happen if those unwritten rules weren't adhered to? Would those people actually be fired? Or would there just be gossip about them? Japan doesn't typically fire their employees for not following unwritten rules, you'd just be shunned and maybe passed for a promotion because you'd be seen as not very dedicated. You'd only be fired if you break the rules of the company or the law. Shun me, homie. I'm going home. Same if I have to almost die to get a promotion no thanks I'm good. Meh. Business as usual for Japan. My girl works in a business that is kind of grey. She changed jobs a year ago. That place was black as sin. Black is a Japanese term meaning doesn't obey labor laws. It's pretty common. I was at a party a few months back before this little issue we have when I mentioned how her company was a bit gray. A dude stood up and shouted, there are no white companies in Japan. Svart arbiad, or, black work, also means it doesn't obey laws in Norwegian, usually people that don't want to pay taxes when renovating or building something. Ha ha I thought of svart vina in Icelandic myself, or hei gong in Chinese, maybe it's a thing in most languages except English? Maybe you could consider the black market to be a variant of this terminology. Or the black economy, as an alternative. There's also the grey economy. 80 hours of overtime over 4 weeks or 20 days as 12-hour work days. I missed on the initial skim that this was 80 hours of overtime in a month and thought they were somehow working 17 to 18 hours every day. Greater than 60 hour weeks aren't unusual for a teacher in the United States, so given the work culture of Japan, that's not at all surprising. What is surprising, to me, is that it's enough to increase your risk of death, and that makes me more glad that left the field of education for my own well-being. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.